welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to talk about today is, this is something for you to really think about today. Are you allowing your past to dictate your present and therefore dictate your future? I want you to really sit with this today. I want you to really think about it. Think about it. Think about the patterns that keep appearing in your life. You know, because so many people teach you to ignore your past. Just, it's done. You can't change it. Or can you? That's the magic. And that's what I'm here for. You can't change the past. It's already happened. You can't do anything about it. It's done. Right? It's in the past. But can you? Can you change it? Huh? <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. So, example. You look at an event in your past, right? One that caused you a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. And then... Oh, you don't want to look at it, right? Because it causes you so much pain and suffering. So you haven't changed the past. It's still the same. Because every time you look at that event, you suffer. Right? It makes you sad. It makes you upset. You remember the pain. The past hasn't changed. But you can go back to look at that event and you can heal the belief that you created in that moment you can go back to that event and go well you know that was my mum she couldn't love me the way I needed to be loved she had her own experiences that got her to that point that's on her right but I deserve to be loved I deserve love I am love we are love by the way <laughs> but that's one for another day okay that's a bit too too far away from us at the moment but you know I can go back and look at my mum right and not have to have all those feelings of pain and suffering and all the stuff that was attached to that event and at, in this point in time if your past hasn't changed you are still looking at it the same way with the same pain and the same suffering you are reliving the moment every time when you go back and heal yourself from that moment, you release all the attachments, all those little strings that were attached to that moment. You can cut them off. You know that, right? You can cut them off. You can release yourself. That what happened in that moment had nothing to do with you. Her not being able to love you didn't mean that you're not worthy of love. You're loved in every moment, all the time. We're just not taught that. We are so loved. It's beyond ridiculous. But we're not taught that. Right? Because they didn't know. They can't. Your parents can't pass on something to you that they don't know. Right? Or they haven't experienced. How can they teach you something they don't have? Something they don't know. It's impossible. Right? They can't. But you can go back to that moment and go, well, look, you couldn't love me the way I needed to be loved, but that's on you. That doesn't mean I'm not worthy of love because I am. And I am loved in every moment and I am loved always. And in all ways, I'm always being loved. And through these videos, you will learn how you are being loved. And it is shown to you a hundred times a day, a million times a day, in every moment. This love is revealing itself to you. It's just that we're not aware of it. We're not used to looking for it. So I can go back and look at that event now and go, oh, well, you know, I'm worthy of love. Not because I'm saying the words, I'm worthy of love now. It's not just words. I know I am. I know I am. I'm worthy of love. I always was. I always will be. And what she did or couldn't do for me is on her. You know, that relationship that we could have had, 
Oh, you know, it could have been amazing because you know what the secret is? When we're little, right, we come into the world, we are just love. We don't know anything else. And we look to these grown-ups and all we want to do is give them all this love. We've got all this love, right? As little ones, these children that come into the world, all we know is love. We just want to love you. We don't want anything else. We just want to love you. You're our parents. You're just so amazing. And these grown-ups don't know how to receive that love. They don't know how to accept it. They don't know how to reciprocate it, right? But you were the love. You were the love. You came into their life to show them what love is. And they didn't know what to do with that. They didn't know how to handle that. But that's on them, you see? So if you take that power back, I am the love. I was the love. I came here to show you what love is and you didn't know what to do with it. It's not my fault. That's on you. But I am the love. And that's what I came for. I came here to be the love. When you step in that, hey, how different does that experience look now? Dude, I was the love and you missed the memo. <laughs> I came here to be the love, to give you the love, to show you what love is. And you didn't know what to do with it. Right? You see? You're taking your power back now. You are the love. You were the love. You still are the love now, but you were born and you were just love. You didn't know anything else. Everything else was put into you after by all of these people that were already messed up to start with. Most of them, 99%, right? They're already messed up. Already full of their own issues, their own traumas, their own baggage. And you came in as a gift to them that they may have a glimpse of what love is, open their hearts to what love is. They had an opportunity. You were an opportunity for them to express love, to feel love. And they missed it. But you can now look at that event, you know, with those eyes, that that was my purpose. That is the only purpose we have here is to be love, to know that we are love and to help others back to that love, you know, and for you to be able to see yourself through those eyes, through the eyes of a child looking up at these beautiful grown-ups thinking, oh, I love you so much. All I want to do is love you. It, wasn't, it was never about them loving you back or not. It was about them receiving your love. And for a lot of us, it felt like rejection when that love wasn't accepted. That's where the pain comes from a lot of the time, that rejection. But that love is still there. It never goes anywhere because that's all you are. That's all you've ever been, this beautiful, beautiful love. And so you can take that back now, okay? You can set aside that rejection and go, okay, that was on you and that was your experience. That's what you're here for. That's fine. But I am the love. I've always been love and I will always be love. That's who I am. Take that back today. That's who I am. I am love. See, now, when you look back, has that past changed now? I love you, my darlings. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any other messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.